24 seven sports list their players to watch for the 2023 season. And Travis Hunter makes the list. We're going to talk about it and what I think about Travis going into the 23 season after the bumper. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? What is going on, everybody? My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lighty Jr. YouTube, Facebook, and wherever you get your content. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload all the time. Now, 247. Today, we're talking about an article put out by 247 Sports, and it is about some of the best newcomers, the best 11 players to watch. For the 2023 season, the 11 college football players generating substantial buzz after spring practice. Let me go ahead and share the article. Uh, Let's go ahead and we'll talk about what 247 has to say. This is an article written by Brad Crawford, the 11 football players generating the most buzz. You know, uh, it says the familiar names on the way too early 2024 NFL draft boards are well documented. But these guys are leading the wave of the future, including a couple of impact true freshmen and guys who have waited on their opportunity to shine. And, of course, they got, uh, you know, freshman from Texas, Peter Woods. Some of you guys may uh, recognize that name out of Florida. I mean, out of Alabama, five-star. Caleb Downs at the University of Alabama. Tez Walker at North Carolina. uh, Mr. The linebacker from Oklahoma. And if we keep scrolling, we're looking right here where it says wide receiver, Travis Hunter, which – I think that is appropriate because I think he's better at wide receiver than he is at corner. I think by the time he's finished in college, if he plays wide receiver more than corner, he will be a top 10 pick at wide receiver. That's just my prediction. It's his Colorado first year coach. Deion Sanders put quite a bit of pressure on Hunter's shoulders coming out of spring, but he expects the Jackson State transfer and former five star uh, can handle it. He's on a two way he's a two way talent who's likely going to play more reps at wide receiver than quarterback this season, given the need for his big playability on offense. That's actually news for them to actually come out and say now two four seven's got good connections to Colorado and to Coach Prime with Carl Reed and some of the guys already being out there at CU during the spring and during obviously their spring game, which saw over five hundred thousand people tune into. It says, uh, quote, Travis is better than me at his age and stage, Sanders told reporters before Colorado spring game. He may not be as fast, but the intangibles and who he is is better. He is better at this age and stage. He really is by far. Now, this is actually interesting to see that they're going to play Travis more on offense than defense. Uh, initially, simply because they need, like you said, some of that firepower on offense. They're still reloading and building their roster all through the transfer portal, and we're yet to see how that's going to work out. But one thing we do know for sure is that Travis is a dynamic talent. Uh, I think Travis is an elite, can become an elite player at the Power 5 level. I think Travis, no matter where he was going to play at, was going to be a great player. He's an all-world athlete. Like he is in all world instantly. He becomes one of the five best athletes in college football. I think, I think he's that athletic. He's that gifted. He's that good. Now, whether he's able to make the plays that I think he'll be able to make. If you don't think Travis Hunter can make plays, especially at wide receiver, just go watch the celebration bowl highlights. Just watch the celebration bowl highlights. Now you can say, Oh, it was FCS level. And Oh man, Travis is him. Like, he's really is him. Now, at corner, he still needs some work. He still needs to – he, he kind of gambles a lot because he is so athletic. He gets baited on double moves. But at wide receiver, when it comes to routes, yo, he's special. He is special. His route running ability is special. His leaping ability is special. His tracking the ball in the air ability is special. And so that's why I think Colorado and their staff – is doing him a service by playing him more so at wide receiver than at corner. Because if you want to get the most out of Travis Hunter, play him at wide receiver. If you want to have an all-pro, all-American type talent in Travis Hunter, play him at wide receiver. Get the ball in his hands. The ball in that young man's hands 
is special. It's must-see TV. He is a home run threat from any place on the field. And with the routes that he's able to run, he can take it the distance no matter if it's a bubble screen or a 15-yard post or a go ball. It doesn't matter. Travis is that type of dude. I think he can make that type of impact his first year. He will be wide receiver one at Colorado. Yeah, he'll be wide receiver one, like the X. You know how Brandon Marshall and Ocho Cinco used to go back? Who was the X? Who was the Z? Travis is the X. In that offense, I mean, unless they're bringing in somebody I don't know, he's the X. And they need to make sure he touches the ball. He need a minimum 8 to 12 touches a game. 12 to 15 if you can do it, if you can do jet sweeps and bubble screens. 12 to 15 touches a game, you're going to see some exciting plays out of number 12 in the Buffs jersey because he's that special. And that's why 247 has him featured because he's that good. I've seen it. I've seen it with my own eyes. He's really that good. Now, you have to keep him healthy because he does play with a smaller frame. And that's why I think offense actually benefits him with his smaller frame, right? Because on defense, you got to tackle people. On defense, you're getting blocked. On defense, you got to, you know, you got to get, it's a lot more physical. Guys are coming out to hit you. On offense, you know, as a wide receiver, you can get to the ground. On offense, as a wide receiver, you can stalk, block, which is, you know, kind of fake blocking. On offense, they have rules built in from keeping defensive guys from just straight laying you out. Especially in college, you get ejected out the game if you hit a guy too hard. And so that also will benefit him and work in his benefit with him playing on the offensive side of the ball. They protect the offense because they want offenses to score points. And what better way than to score points than to get into the hands of a guy like Travis Hunter because he's that special. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. 247 ranks Travis Hunter as one of the 11 players that they are keeping an eye on after spring practice. My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lighty Jr. YouTube, Facebook, and wherever you get your content. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button on your way out. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at jlighty7. That is on Twitter and Instagram at jlighty7. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Peace.